everyone. Welcome to my channel, Dragonfly Bees. My name is Susie. In today's video, I will be opening up a Goodwill Blue Box 5-pound repurposed jewelry box. Um, you can get them from goodwillbluebox.com. They're available only on Friday nights, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. They offer many other boxes, but I chose the repurposed jewelry box and I was able to get two and it came from Greensboro, North Carolina. This is box one of two. I paid $29.99 and $5 shipping. So let's find out what's inside. Before we begin, I want to share with you the tools that I normally use often whenever I do my jewelry research. So you're going to need a magnet, of course. And here is a loop, but I also use this one often. This one has a light. Here is a ring sizer, a mandrel. This here is a scale, so you can weigh the piece in grams. You never know if you need a diamond tester. This here is my acid test kit. I have two stones uh, because I don't mix the acid, so I use one for gold and this one for silver. And then here's my gem tester. So please check the description box below because I provided links to each one of these items um, in addition to other items that I, that I use. So, hopefully that will help you if you decide to start a journey in jewelry researching and reselling. Okay, here's the box. Let's open it. This box came from Queensboro, North Carolina. It's one of two. And there's the top view. Oh, I see fabric. <laughs> All right, let me spill this out and uh, sort through it, and then we'll we'll go over each piece. scrub my hands and clean my hands and then we'll start okay to start off uh, we have some bracelets here we have some bangles and they're pretty faded this one here is even has some enamel um, accents so these will go into um, a craft lot I create five pound craft lots and I sell them on Etsy as crafting supplies and also on Macari so, um, yeah, that will go into a craft lot. Here we have some plastic bracelets. Um, I mean, they're, they're in good shape. I mean, these can even go into a mystery lot. Oh, wait, this one's broken. It's cracked. So I take that back. But anyway, um, mystery lots are also five pound. Uh, bags of jewelry, which is all wearable, and uh, this is a nice one. It's a stretch bracelet, and it's not too bad. It has these rondelles with rhinestones, and they all seem to be there. And this is a really pretty iridescent, kind of like a Tiffany blue uh, color. So yeah. This may even go into a mystery lot. So, um, next. Figure eight with rhinestones. 
kind of faded. Um, also a stretchy. And here we have these metallic iridescent beads. So something like this I will put into a craft lot. Next is a very lightweight beaded bracelet, black beads, silver tone spacers, lobster clasp. Um, yeah. Here is a very faded, um, kind of like a metal, metal color uh, pearl. It's very stretched out, as you can see. And there is a little jewelry tag, and it says R-M-N. This will go into the craft lot, too. Next, we have this leather um, bracelet. It has these two snaps. I mean, it's not too bad. It does say cow hide leather. It's kind of worn. Hmm. And lastly, another leather cuff. Well, this is a nice one. It's a little wider. It has these flower cutouts. And this is also snaps together with these two snaps. So yeah. Um... Just to mention, if you do see something that you may like, just email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. Okay, here's the next grouping of bracelets that I found. So, first off, we have this very odd organic bead. Uh, they're not exactly round, but they do look like pebbles, right? Uh, they look painted. But they have these beautiful blue gold AB coated beads in between. Um, it is a stretch bracelet. This will go into the craft lot. Next we have a really nice green glass uh, bracelet. Which is also a stretch bracelet. I don't want to pull it because it seems very... Um, it's lost this stretch, let's put it that way. But these are really beautiful glass beads with these uh, clear crystal beads in between. There is a tag and it says schmuck. <laughs> Okay, I've never heard of um, schmuck. Have you? Please comment below if you did. That's that's a really pretty um, bracelet, but it will be going into a craft lot so someone can repurpose these beads. Next we have... Um, these are plastic. It's a double strand bracelet held together with this little bar. It's also a stretch and it's uh, it's losing that stretch. It's been stretched too much. But these are pretty. You have gold, you have browns, amber, um, cream color, like a, a faux agate. This is pretty so, but unfortunately this one's going into the craft lot as well. Next, we have this metal, textured metal um, memory bracelet. I mean, it looks pretty nice. It doesn't seem to be much wear. There is a little tag. I don't know if that's a maker's mark, uh, that design. Nothing on the other side. That tag is on both ends. Okay. I think this can go into a mystery lot. Next up is a, a little 
gold tone seed bead bracelet with these little uh, charms and these amber colored faceted beads along with these silver beads on the, each end. Lobster clasp. I mean, it's cute. Oh my goodness. This is this is a baby bracelet. A baby uh, memory wire bracelet. See how tiny. Oh, this here, it's pretty heavy. But it, unfortunately, it's pretty uh, stretched out also. But look at how pretty these beads are. And there's this very heavy heart charm hanging off of it that has this nicely enameled flower. Can you see? That's the back. And it has these really decorative beads. Clear modeled with these um like daisy like spacers in between as well as these uh like a rope hoops i mean it's really nice but look how look at that stretch uh, hopefully someone can can make something nice out of this this could even be a pendant so i think this will definitely go into the craft lot as well uh next off we have this beautiful amber amber bracelet and it even has a beautiful amber uh, ornament at the end. This feels like glass. I don't see any maker, but that's a nice clasp. It looks pretty uh, well made. This is nice. It's very pretty. Okay, here's the next group of bracelets. Um, first one off is this wire cuff. It's very, very lightweight. I mean, it looks like a yellow gold finish. It, it's, it's, it's in good condition. Next here, we have this beautiful stretch bracelet. But if you notice, the elastic is a, is a stronger type. It's kind of like the ones you use uh, in hair ties. So it's a nicer made piece. There's rhinestones on some panels, and this one looks like it's all intact. And then you have this crisscross pattern. Um... And then another rhinestone pattern. This looks pretty nice because everything's in, um, everything is present. Oh, I see a mark. Leah Sophia. Okay, you know this uh, could use could use a good polish. So. Let me take the sunshine cloths and see if it would clean up a bit. I'll try it from the top. Yeah. I don't know if you can tell. But yes, I think um, polishing up a bit this can be something I can sell. So yeah, sunshine cloths are the best. I mean, that was from something I cleaned recently and look how black it got. But don't throw them away just because it's all uh, soiled because there's still a lot of that whatever it is in the cloths that's usable. I mean, they last a long time. All right. Next off, we have this little uh, silver tone bracelet with a faux pearl that has a little nick in it. It opens up. It's cute. Here we have... Oh, wait. I saw this one already. This was 
was already shown in the last um, in the last grouping of bracelets. So why don't we look at this one? Here is a. These are natural stones. The minute I picked up the bracelet, it's very cold to the touch. Oh, it's a magnet. It's a magnet. So let's see. There you go. That's so easy to wear. Oh, that's cute. So they have plastic spacers in between those natural stones. I think it's like some sort of quartz. But you know what? I have my gem tester. So let's let's see what they let's see what it is. Okay. Bring you closer. It's falling under the quartz um, category on the very bottom. So yeah, these these are quartz. Nice. Next we have this. Very cute. Oh, it's kind of small. I think it's for a child. Um, charm bracelet. Silver tone. Toggle clasp. And it has two charms on it. One is this cute enamel panda bear. And the other one is BFF. Here we have another charm bracelet. It has a K, a little medallion that says love, a locket, oh, it's broken. You see the lobster clasp? It's broken. Okay. This will go into the craft lot. Next we have this very delicate kind of like a gunmetal finish. Um, I don't know. I think this is an ankle bracelet. It's kind of wide. Or, I don't know. Here. You have these little tiny plastic bicone rhinestones with a little a little butterfly that's also uh, has rhinestones on its body. It's pretty. And lastly, this is a very delicate bracelet that has North Carolina. Okay, it's a homage to the box that I got because that's where the box came from. North Carolina. Okay, next up we have our single earrings pile. Uh, we have some faux pearls, some faux gems. Some cluster earrings, stars, uh, plastic lucite button earrings, uh, some southwestern faux turquoise earrings, some studs, some dangly earrings, some hoops, and yes, they're all going into the craft pile. This next group are actual pairs of earrings that I found. Here's a, a round lucite pierced button earring. Here's another plastic black ring earring, uh, also pierced. This here is a clip-on uh, faux pearl gold tone. Someone, someone put, I don't know, it looks like felt on the back of it. Um, I mean, too bad. There's also, look how much verdigris there is on there. Uh, these, I I can clean, but I, I think I'm gonna place them into a craft lot. Normally, if, if I find something nice uh, that's vintage, 
I would uh, list them in my Etsy shop, which is basically vintage uh, items. Now here, a really badly worn clip-ons, and they say Japan, Japan. And these are just faux pearl cluster earrings. Uh, this is just a pair of modern uh, plastic faux pearl and rhinestone uh, hook earrings. This pair is a very ornate plastic What is this? Oh, lever back uh, type of earring. Yeah. Unfortunately, even though there were pairs, they're all going to go into um, a craft lot. Remember when I first opened the box? You know where it's going. I have to apologize today. I, um, I'm having a problem with the focus. So it seems like as long as I bring the object closer to you, then you'll be able to see it. So first off, we have this um, plastic faux tortoise shell like chunky link necklace. It's more like a choker length and it's um, it's rounded on one side and flat on the other. And if you notice, look at this very um, strange hook closure. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. I think it's um, I think it's pretty and unique. I don't know if this is vintage or something I need to look up. Has anyone ever seen something like this? Um, I noticed that there's a a cut over there, but I think that maybe. Uh, supposed to be like that um because i noticed all the links also have it too so yeah this is a um a pretty cool oh, chunky amber black color well like i said tortoise tortoise shell um tone choker choker necklace this um, metal daisy, you know what, I'm not even sure what it is because of the length. Um, it looks really small to be a choker. Um, it's really very, very dirty and rusted and worn and... Um, I guess at one time it was really pretty. It has this, uh, it even has a lot of verdigris. It has this hook clasp. I mean, one thing, what, um, this box was, uh, was fairly, um, was fairly dirty. Yeah, this is going into the craft lot. Next up, we have this silver tone, um, necklace with a a pendant and it's a branch and it's got some rhinestones and flowers and even a dove the dove has these rhinestones on it and they are all there this has um somewhere and this is cute too it's on this chain but as you notice there's some kinks in the chain it's got a lobster clasp an extender. Uh, there is also some verdigris on this as well. Um, yeah, this is something that will also go into my craft lot. Next, we have this um, very lightweight silver tone necklace with these black beads. It looks uh, fairly new. There is a lobster clasp and an extender. So, um, this can go into a mystery lot. Mm -hmm. Next we have this long necklace. I would say it's about 15 inches long. Um, made up of all these beautiful 
gray beads with some that looks like a brown a brown tone and then you have the gold bead spacers this is pretty what kind of closure does this have there you go there's the lobster clasp there's no maker's mark it's just a nice pretty long beaded necklace next we have this faux pearl necklace as you can see um, some of these pearls have scratches on them uh, going down the necklace the the pearls get larger and there are spacers of these rhinestone embellished rondelles It looks like uh, these rhinestones are pretty cloudy and gray. Let's see what kind of... Okay, this is pretty. There is a rose box clasp. And what you do is you press down on that lever. And it pulls out. Okay. Let's pop it back in. It snapped right back in. Okay. This is um, just in good condition. Next up, we have this um, twisty rope chain. It's really long. I would say maybe about 18 inches. So as we go down the line, it ends in this tassel. The tassel has these um, rhinestones on the top all around. It looks very nice. It's very heavy. Lots of tassels. I think it just needs a, a, a good a good polish since it was uh, in that box with all the other uh, Unclean jewelry. The chain looks really, really nice. The clasp looks really clean. There is no maker. There is an extender. Yeah. This is a pretty tassel necklace. More necklaces. This here is a multicolor faceted bicone look how tiny they are little bicone um rhinestones with these fancy little spacers and i guess it's supposed to be uh hematite cylinders which are also faceted but one thing i don't get um it's magnetic so i I don't know how okay it's magnetic you could wear it around your neck and just have it connected any which way you want I guess um, okay it's it's really it's really long I would say maybe about 20 inches long it's in uh, it's in good shape I never had magnetic jewelry before, so I'm not really familiar with it, but uh, it's kind of fun. I mean, I just put it together and it it stuck. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, this is something I, I I guess I I'll look into. Look at it; it's all stuck together. It's so fun. Okay, this next necklace had me pretty stumped and it was the culprit of the huge tangle in the box initially i believe it's handmade if you look at the clasp i mean look how many different chains are hanging off of of it i mean we have this here and then you have like 
five chains hanging off that, but you also have this lobster clasp that's connected to a, another lobster clasp, and that has more chains hanging off of that. I mean, I seriously did not know what what this was about. Um, there are glass. Oh, this is plastic, I think. Glass ornaments that are really um, unique. So here's one of them. And then you have this one, which is very uh, elaborate, embellished on, on the side. And they have like some sort of uh, picture inside. And then hanging off of it is this bead. And um, then there's these little uh, dangly things off of that. And uh, a little pendant. This, uh, I don't know, it looks like a fan with the flowers on it. And this here plastic uh, dangly thing with the nice bead cap. Um, and then on the longest tier, there's another little pendant, and that that also has a a little photo in a picture inside. Uh, they're all double sided, and this one is hanging off of a a, a bronze tone bead. Um, yeah, it it's really. Multi-layer, multi-stranded, uh, multi-confusing, uh, let's see, oops. Well, anyway, <laughs> I, I think you get the idea, but this, this here on the top really, um, baffled me. I mean, look, look at all... Look at all the different connectors, you know? There's one, two, three. I Maybe you can um, wear each necklace separately. That's a thought. Um, one thing about this particular item is it's really... Uh, it needs a wash. It needs a bath. Oh, wait. There is a hang tag. A Yala bar. A Yala bar. Has anyone heard of a Yala bar? A Yala bar. A B. Uh-huh. Hmm. Okay. So I'll look this up and, and, and see what what this is all about. It's um it's super 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 unique. Moving on, we have more necklaces. Um this one is an antique gold tone with heavy, heavy leaves. Well, first, um, there's these two embellished uh, oval stations on either side. There's these gold links. And then hanging off of it are these really pretty leaves. Um, different sizes. This one here has all these rhinestones intact in the center vein. And then you have these, and then you have this gorgeous one, which also has all the rhinestones intact. And then you have another big one, and then the one at the end, tiny one, with also the rhinestones present. So yeah, this is a fun, 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 fun necklace. Let's see if I could get it. That's the back. Okay. They're really pretty. Um, it has a lobster clasp, no maker's mark, 
This is about a three inch extender. The back looks, the back looks good. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> the one with all the uh, rhinestones have these bumps in the back of it. But yeah, this is a, this is something um, I will list. So like I said, if you're interested in anything, please email me and uh, we can work out a price. Okay, next up, we have this beautiful chevron tassel pendant necklace. Uh, there are four, four of the um, iridescent rhinestones on either side of the center. I notice you can see like the elastic over there on some of the rows. That's kind of odd. Oh, it articulates so each panel does move. This is the back. It comes on this very long uh, Rolo chain. Which is all twisted. Okay. All right. It's a little, there's a little fading there. But, I mean, that is on the back, so you can't see that. But it's cute. And like I said, I don't know why you would, you know, see that. I mean... Possibly it won't be noticed on, unless you wear like a black top. But yeah, this is um, this is nice. Next up, we have this multi chain. Look at this multi strand necklace. It needs a really bad, uh, it needs a bath. There are, I counted, 11 different chains on here. You have some with rhinestones, uh, large and small. You have box chain, these chain links, Rolo chain, uh, and they all... They all form a knot on the very bottom. The closure is quite worn. It is a faceted plastic rhinestone closure that comes into this bar and it has a lobster clasp. And then it has these heavy uh, curb chains holding the other bar. It's uh, pretty heavy. <clears throat> There's all different metallic tones, silver, bronze, gunmetal. Yeah. It really needs to be cleaned. Okay, down the home stretch, guys. Um, here is this necklace that's really grimy and tangled and dirty so this is going into the craft lot next up is another one that is very faded uh made up of links very lightweight this also will go into the craft lot here is a necklace that i believe is a match to those earrings that i saw um that I already threw into the craft lot. So this is very lightweight. It's just, um, looks like candy. Uh, okay, this too will go to a craft lot. Next up we have 
this bronze tone necklace, which looks look, looks fairly decent. There's a bunch of little hanging medallions on, on it. Let's see if I could get them to hang correctly. Oh, it comes into a Y, a Y shape. And they're cute. They each have a, a little uh, pink rhinestone. And they all seem to be intact. So this is, okay, this is pretty. I like this one. It, it looks enough. It's in a, it's in good condition. There's no maker's mark, but yeah, okay, that's a nice one. Next, this is a strawberry on a gold tone chain. That's the Juicy Couture um, hang tag. And yes, it is Juicy Couture. And there's the extension um, with the crown and this is a Juicy Couture um, necklace that has a enamel strawberry. Pendant. Here we have a de very delicate, very delicate chain uh, with tiny little red plastic uh, bicone uh, rhinestones. Next we have, next we have a set of pearls. These, these feel really heavy. Oh my, look at that. Ooh, that's a science project. Ugh, okay. That's how it connects. Oh, I'm going to scrub my hands after this. Okay, I think this is um, worth cleaning. I've never, ever seen a closure going into a pearl like this Ugh. okay well I think you get the message Ugh. there this is a hand knotted um, set I did not see a maker And they feel rough. Okay, I got a, I got a strand of real pearls. Okay, Great. next one I have is this huge faux turquoise statement necklace. I mean, I think this took up the bulk of the five pounds in in the box um it is a bit uh faded and it's quite heavy but they are not they are not uh real stones these are all plastic so i don't normally sell things like this um so I'm going to put this into a craft lot as well. Next up we have this really long um, necklace. It is uh, made by Loft. It is a double strand necklace and it has these um, plastic medallions that have the bronze metallic glitter inside. They are double sided. So as you can see this um, top tier 
hangs, I guess, right, um, right near your chest bone. And then as you move down, there is another larger one that hangs lower. And this one has these uh, striped glitter um, all throughout. So yeah, this is um, this is okay. This is by Loft. And then next, I found this necklace, which is also has a jewelry tag. Um, it looks like an A. I I don't know what this. I don't recognize this. Does anyone else? Uh, does anyone know? There's also that same A on the end of the extender. This is a a double strand necklace. And then as you move down, uh, there are these ovals. They're pretty heavy with the, uh, the braided design inside and on the outer surface. So they have these oval stations. Let's start from the top again. Let's see. Okay, so here's... You have this moving down and then there's more. And then, okay. It ends in this nice, um, chain design. One of the strands is longer than the other. Okay. You know what? This feels, this feels interesting. Let me, let me get the magnet. It is not sticking to the magnet, so I will test this and and I'll leave the results on the screen after I'm done. Yeah, this is uh this is nice. So and again, if anyone knows what that maker is, can can you can you let me know? Just leave me a comment on the bottom uh, below. Leave me a comment anyway. I love to hear from you. So here, here it is again. Okay, this is the last grouping. Um, this here is a necklace with faux suede. It is consists of silver and gold tone rings hanging off these two hammered, hammered silver tone um, hoops. This here is a pendant. It's unmarked. It's a plastic uh, teardrop cab cabochon. Here is a plastic ring. Here is a seed bead <laughs> seahorse uh, pendant. I I don't know what this is, but it's a pretty color. Here is a necklace that has a butterfly uh, forever. And it's uh, from Claris. Here is a little tiny, I don't know, flower. And it has rhinestones all around and rhinestone center. And uh, this is very lightweight, and there is no there's no mark on this one. Move my pearls aside. Here we have a astrological uh, necklace that says Pisces, and it is made by Zad Pisces. We saw this, we saw that. This is a 
really lightweight pendant with this pretty tulip. I wonder if this is vintage. I'll look it up. I'll do like a Google reverse um, on this. Here we have another CB craft project. Snowman TC. It must have been an earring or something. It's missing. Missing something. Here's a tiny little ring that's super light. Here's a little uh, angel. Uh, music scale. Must have been part of a, a bracelet. Oh, this earring is pretty. It says Monet. Oh, you know what? I'll hold on to this since I have another box from North Carolina. Uh, so I'll open that up in the next video. And, and maybe, uh, maybe we'll be lucky and we'll get a match. A mate. Here's a little bow tie earring. And lastly is this pendant. It looks like a tugboat. And it says, I can. Uh, Taiwan. So, yeah. This was box number one. My five-pound Goodwill blue box. Repurposed jewelry from, from North Carolina. Of uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. And um, we'll see what we get in the next one. Thanks for watching. I love my pearls and also please uh, hit the like button if you like my video and even better please subscribe uh, press the the bell and that way you'll be alerted to um, my next videos any videos coming up in the future thank you so much I appreciate you all